Welcome to the Texas Go Radio Show. This is part six of the uh, infamous Milker Nation 10-hour documentary about Bartari- Bertaria. And I'm your host, Matorius. Contributed and for their friends and family who want refuge from the storm of this world. That's my dream. I don't want to be, ta- I won't be taken advantage of. So that's why I'm watching my words very carefully. And hopefully the other. We are 37 minutes in. And uh, if you want to go check it out without my obnoxious commentary, <laughs> go watch it. <laughs> he has not been choosing his words carefully at all. I would say not even a little bit. And the reason why is because the only thing on his mind, the only thing that he his eyes are seeing is the money coming in. 90 acres will be either a farm type business, you know, maybe some people are caretakers there. I don't know. But it's not like its own country. We're still America. It's still like just campgrounds. It's not scary. It's nothing. We just need another option. If you later go, I paid you. Where's it? I won't answer you. I won't care. Right now, my dream. That's it right there. That's it right there. Still America. It's still like just campgrounds. Now, all of this, I would imagine, is from the the backlash of uh, Reddit and people calling him out in the comment section being, I, I, I can just imagine how many people were banned for life whenever this was going on just for asking simple questions. I can just imagine. I bet Connington was working overtime on that. It's not scary. It's nothing. We just need another option. If you later go, I paid you, where's it? I won't answer you. I won't care right now. Now, you can use that and say, well, he wasn't lying. But that just shows you how much of a trash human being Owen Benjamin really is. He has spent the last, what is this, July 2nd? He has spent the last however long placating to the fear-mongering society pressure of the worldwide pandemic to his thousands and thousands of listeners. There is no telling how much money he he manipulated his people into giving him. And not even his people, just casual listeners. I bet people were like, dang, that's a good idea. Here's 20 bucks. Here's 100 bucks. And then he saw all of that come in. He's like, no, I can actually do that. I can buy land. What land did he buy right after this? July 2nd, 2020. What land? is Was it Ursaria or Ur- Ur- Ursario? Or was it... Uh, he still lives on Ursario, though, huh? I don't... I don't really get those names. It's hard for me to follow that stuff. But let's just play oh, my dream bear. Still America. It's still like just campgrounds. It's not scary. It's nothing. We just need another option. If you later go, I paid you. Where's it? I won't answer you. I won't care. Right now, my dream bear trap. That is after him laying it on thick saying, if it doesn't happen, I'll give you your money back. I promise. I would be North Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, uh, Oklahoma, Missouri, West Virginia, and then up. Then the reason for these videos that I'm doing right now, these commentary videos, is to refresh everybody's mind because he's doing this podcast tour, and I still have my hopes for for the Chrissy Mayer one that he's going to be on tonight. But I mean, I'm not going to. I I have my hopes high. I'm not holding my breath. Because I, I don't want to, uh, yeah, I don't want to pass out. Um, she was censoring the comment section of her video with uh, Radix Verum. And Radix Verum uh, deleted, or uh, she probably didn't delete. Somebody said that they she probably um, privated her video on Owen. Now, I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Chrissy, I'm not too sure about because she is trying to work her way up and and in the comedy game you have to uh, pretty much put up with anything if you want to participate and take that for what it is you literally almost have to participate not participate tolerate ignore turn a blind eye 
just like the rest of the thing, just like the rest of Hollywood and, and entertainment. And Owen, I don't know. He's probably he, he he might still have connections. I have no idea. I'm trying to be patient and, and see how the uh, seven o'clock thing is going to go. But uh, that's the reason why I'm doing these videos is because of him doing his podcast tour right now, and nobody's calling him out on any of this crap. Like all the best states. And a minimum of 10 acres so that you don't have any ordinances or whatever. And then I could always do comedy uh, tours on the bear trail. What I can tell you right now is that 10% of all land purchased in this fund will be for bears to camp on. Per forever. I can do that. I also need to figure out how to make money to pay taxes and expand. And I have to, and I will have control of that. It's like we have to give refuge to good people and travelers who want to help and contribute to the world. We need to get a grassroots heritage American land that isn't like people squirt all the time thinking about like, oh, FEMA camps, Walmart's going to become FEMA camps. Well, how about we make our own fucking camps? And one day when Eric Weinstein is starving and covered in his own shit, if he's willing to get on his knees and pray and say, God, forgive me, we will have food for him because that's the real. What is that? He's the, the grift that he does, man. The mask of Owen Benjamin. Whenever I first started doing these videos, I would say Owen Benjamin cares Troy Smith, the 47th. And it was a, a play on the 147 IQ, but there's 47 masks that he wears. He plays towards, he, he tries to, he covers all the bases so that, that it's so frustrating. Christian way. The Christian I know I way. In his own shit. If he's willing to get on his knees and pray and say, God, forgive me, we will have food for him because that's the real Christian way. And I know I sound angry, but I, I am a little, I, I'm agitated. Yeah, I'm agitated too, because this is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> And um, the people that want to sit there and ignore and, and whatever, I mean, is there bigger fights out there? Sure. But, uh, I mean. Like, who the hell is going to grow food? Who the hell is going to have milk? Who the fuck's going to have a fence? The fact that all of this took place. During the pandemic, that's one. Of, that that's a a liner for the cult for a for a cult to work. They have to have fear, and whenever the fear ran out, and the money dried up from the Christians, just like what he just said, we'll have money. That's we'll have we'll we'll give him because that's the Christian thing to do. This dude's not a Christian man. He doesn't believe in Jesus Christ. He says Jesus blasphemous. What, he, there's nothing inside of him that is uh, appropriate for leadership or to, to be followed. He takes all of these things that people want, throws it into a pot, stirs it up, and then spoon feeds his audience. And it's all mixed up with good stuff and a whole lot of bad stuff. <coughs> Look at the website that we set up. See what other bears are going where, when, and meet up and have a campfire on private land. Guys, it's genius. It's genius. I'm not trying to brag here. It's it's a divine inspiration. So, like, don't... Divine inspiration. Could this have worked if it wasn't for the greed? Because you can see. You can... There's a possibility, man. The, the, the idea of it is a good idea. It is. I wouldn't say it's genius, but it is a good idea. Has it been done before? I'm sure it has. It just wasn't done by a person like Owen Benjamin, so there's not a thousand YouTube videos out there calling him out on it. I think that this is some kind of like weird Ponzi scheme or scam or something. It's so obviously great on the face of it that it's ridiculous. And even if I fail at this bear trail fucking thing, I, at least I tried. That's why 400 bucks. Even if I fail, but Owen Benjamin said, and I quote, if it doesn't work out, I will give your money back. I promise. But after he's gotten the money, he's changing what he said. So it's all good, right? 
bucks is not a big deal. Let's say nothing happens. Let's say it just burns. Let's fail at this bear trail fucking thing. I, at least I tried. That's why 400 bucks is not a big deal. Let's say nothing happens. Let's say it just burns. Let's say I don't make the, it's like, fuck it. I tried. I'm trying. But it's a worst case scenario. We fucking tried. What else are you going to spend your 400 bucks on? Alcohol? Drugs? How does that work out? How do you, how does that work out? At, what's the logical? If you're a bear out there, if you're one of these people that are sitting here having conversations with Owen on your podcast and you hear this, what is the logical, uh, the logic behind ignoring this going on? A scam for three years. And then he finally kicks out some of the last remaining people that were willing to float him. And now he's turned his little mask back on to where he's a decent human being, which it will slip. It will. It has to. He's already proven it. I've seen enough videos that he does. He'll do it. And it's like a it's um, it's like a it's like a perfect circle. It just goes around and around. It takes a little bit longer sometimes, but it's it, he'll he'll come back to it. And so, for the people that are allowing him on on your podcast, what what is the point? Of, is he paying you to be willfully ignorant? Porn. It's not going to fail. I know. I'm just letting you know that worst case scenario, the worst case scenario is it fails, but at least you fucking tried. And 400, you can send whatever you want. If you feel uh, confident in this and you want to contribute, great. Have no expectations. You know, no bitterness, none of that. I have no expectations. I've sat here and I, I've painted this picture to y'all. <clears throat> and y'all sent me hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I skimmed off as much as I could from it because some of y'all were smart enough to say this is for Bertaria. And so I couldn't touch that because y'all know that y'all wrote Bertaria on there. And then I realized, oh, I'm going to have to follow through with this. And this isn't just my money. And now, nope, no expectations, none. And if you want it back, I'm not going to listen to you. I know all the pitfalls. I know how many, I, there's pitfalls I'm sure I don't see. But it's like, there's going to be all kinds of shit that I can't even see in the future. This is a monumental undertaking. That's why I'm keeping it so simple. I'm promising no roofs. No so simple. You give me your money, expect nothing. Even though I got more than a few hundred thousand dollars from you already with promises attached to that. <laughs> no houses, no citizenship, no anything. If people are like, but I gave you $50 and now I can't jerk off in a tree. I have to find a place with no laws. We could feed the whole country. I'm not making a promise of this, but you can feed the country based on like with one big bear trail. Who's going to have order where there's a bunch of men saying you can't act that way. If you're jerking off, you got to get the fuck out of here and we can enforce that banishment, not punishment. We need a homeland where we can say, if you don't follow the rules, you get the fuck out. All right. So yeah, fundraising is going good. Can you tell, can you tell the uh, continents of his face? Right. From whenever he was like, Amy, this there it's happening, Amy. And then on that one and then this one, <laughs> what's happening, man? What's happening? Because you're getting all that money. Wait, is it the guilt that's getting to you? What, what's getting to him in, in these moments? Is it the guilt? Is it the threats of legal action? Is, is it people actually calling him out for what he is? Um. Two days, we're pushing 50 grand without any checks or anything. As soon How does that work out? How did that work out to the people that lived through this? Is my timeline wrong? Is the way this is edited, is it wrong? What's going on? Because he said 200, he said 200,000 earlier. 10% of 2 million. 10% of 2 million is, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. And then the next thing he said was 60,000. And now he's saying 50,000. How does that work? As we secure land, everybody who contributed is allowed to camp there. Just the reason North Idaho is so great is because I, I feel good about just being like, go check out the campgrounds. I mean, I'm friends with basically a paramilitary group there. So 
No one's going to be like, this is mine now. I want the wobbly table in the cafeteria named after me. As a, The thing I'm promising is campgrounds for bears that contribute at least 400 bucks. He's in such a mood that he didn't even pick up on that was a joke. Every cafeteria has a wobbly table. That dude was, that person was joking and that was kind of a funny joke. And he's in such a mood that he couldn't even pick it up, pick up on it. Or if there's space, we'll do a hierarchy. So even if you contributed 25 bucks, if there's space and no one else is going there at that time, you can camp there. But it's, it, guys, it's dreamy. It's so dreamy. So exciting. Our dreams are coming true. Yeah, it's super dreamy. Just to have- So excited. Our dreams are coming true. And then his body language. He's like, oh, these are my dreams, not y'all's dreams. <laughs> That's how he just acted. Oh, man. <laughs> That is insane, dude. Watch his body language in this. But it's, it, guys, it's dreamy. It's so dreamy. So exciting. Our dreams are coming true. Yeah, it's super dreamy. Just to have land where you're welcome to camp at is in the future. Let me, let me reestablish our boundaries. Just to have land that you're allowed to camp at. But it's, it, guys, it's dreamy. It's so dreamy. Watch so exciting. Eyes. Our dreams are coming true. Yeah, it's super dreamy. Just to have land where you're welcome to camp at is in the future. You guys don't even understand. Like right now, it's That's dreamy. Crazy. Wait five years. Wait five years and see what the world's going to look like and how. I'm- so he is he is taking all of this money and then and then gradually mapping out the reality for the people that still want to stick around. He took the he painted this picture. This is this is why a lot of people are, are upset with him. Is because he painted this picture during a, a a worldwide crisis, and he had thousands of listeners, probably hundreds of bears, and painted this picture. He thought he was in a situation to where he could walk away with two million dollars. That's what, in in two days, right, or a week, whatever he said, in a relatively two weeks, whatever. In a short time, so he painted this picture while he he was selling this picture while he was painting this picture, and then threw uh, paint thinner on it. He was like, "I don't, was it a, uh, I mean, I said what I said, but that picture, I hate, I hate speaking like a mock, like you're mocking somebody. I hate that. It's just easy to do sometimes. Now, he's painting a picture, sell, selling a picture, and then straight up after he received the money. And then I don't know. I don't understand the timeline of the money, the two hundred, the four hundred thousand, the two hundred thousand, the sixty thousand, the fifty thousand. I don't get it. Amazing! It's going to be to have a place to camp, and that's not being me, me being negative. It's just reality. If I don't get over a million, I can't live there because I'd have to buy a place with over a hundred acres with a house on it. But that's no problem. It doesn't affect the plan. What does that even mean? Because I would have to have a hundred acres with a house on it. <coughs> the house that I grew up in after I was eight had two acres and it might've had four. Either way, it was, it was a decent plot of land. There was farmland around it. We didn't use it for anything really. Besides like four wheelers and stuff. But that was a lot of land. And it's interesting to whenever he is called out on that hundred acres, he's like, "Well, because I have to have a, I have to be able to have distance between me and all you crazy people." <laughs> That's pretty much what he says. I can still set up a uh, a camp for people to uh, camp there. It's all about private ownership of land moving forward, where people can uh, travel and sleep at and have uh, yurts and cabins and stuff. And um, grow food and shit. So, great. And I'm just kind of facilitating this whole thing. Because it's like, in this time where it seems like everybody's acting like absolute lunatics to like try and get a piece of heaven in North Idaho so, and, and give something back to you guys. Because I live, I live in heaven. Give something back to you guys. Anyways, this is the end of, I think, part six of uh, 
the 10 hour documentary by the great and honorable Milker Nation. I am your host, Victorious, and this is the Texas Goat Radio Show. As always, till next time.